raising awareness for pandemic management and the spread of viruses through interactive exhibits, dioramas, and videos for children. The new Going Viral Traveling Exhibition by the Singapore Science Centre is aiming to do just that. Our key highlights include a 360-degree projection mapping and a game show style quiz station on the dangers of misinformation. The exhibit will also showcase first in Asia short films about mRNA technology by Moderna Biotech Singapore on the importance of collaborative research and advancing technology in the field. Now, for more on this, we are joined in the studio by Evelyn Pang. She's general manager of Moderna Biotech Singapore and by associate professor Lim Titmeng, chief executive of the Singapore Science Centre Board. And we'll start the ball rolling with Professor Lim. Now, uh, if we if we define returning to pre-pandemic normalcy as Dorscon going back to green, and that happened mid-February of this year. So if we look at that between then and now, we're about six months on from February to now. Why the exhibition now and targeting children specifically? This exhibition was created way before the DOSCON ended. Because in the Science Centre, we know that this pandemic is a very complex issue. And we need uh, like-minded people to come together to co-create solutions uh, using a lot of uh, technology and partners such as uh, Moderna. And we want to use this, this exhibition to let people know that it's not a matter of whether there will be another pandemic. It's when it might come again. So it's not just focusing on the COVID alone, but the whole history of how mankind have battled against pandemic viral infections and how we use our power of STEM, science, technology, engineering and mathematics to come up with solutions. And we want to use this to remind us that we need to invest, especially to our young ones, to understand the power of STEM, appreciate the power of STEM. And in time to come, we need more innovators from them. And it is not just for children, it's for adults as well, because the adults play a part in nurturing the children to understanding the power of STEM and how STEM can contribute towards mitigating future pandemic. So it's very much about the evolution of our understanding of pandemic interventions yes. and so on. Yes. Uh, Ms. Pang, let's bring you in on the conversation here. What spurred Moderna Biotech Singapore's sort of um, involvement with this exhibit? Yep, so Moderna has been in the forefront of mRNA technology and we have seen how the successful research and development of the vaccine has helped to many countries, including Singapore, combat against um, the pandemic. So we see ourselves as the expert hoping to engage the public, educate them um, through many things. So one of it would be participating in um, the partnership with um, Science Centre so that we would be able to bring this, to break down complex science about vaccine, about mRNA technology, and to articulate that in a very layman manner and make science come to life, make it accessible. So we mm. launched three firms that allow us to then talk about how mRNA um, exists naturally in our body. The second firm talks about how mRNA vaccines work and help to combat against the pandemic. And the last one is my favourite because it talks about the superhero alongside with his friends being able to then mm -hmm. fight against different infectious diseases like RSV, respiratory synthetic virus, influenza, and another group of his friends going on a mission exploring the possibility of not just vaccines, preventive care, but also in therapeutics, treating tough diseases like cancer, heart, lung, and rare diseases. Right. right, so that superhero is part of this animated sequence that we're watching Yes, he's right Mr. Now. MRNA. All right, uh, I'm picking on a point that uh, uh, Professor Lim made, but the question is for you, Ms. Pang. So, Professor, you said co-create solutions, but it's, it's not, you cannot find a solution for any, even if you did for one particular virus, one particular pandemic. Mm -hmm. That in itself, that's not the point of this. There is no solution. The solution is that we need to be constantly making more of ourselves. So, for example, what you're doing, uh, encouraging young people to be more interested and maybe to devote their lives to science the way we would need people to do in order to fight a pandemic. Uh, how does your exhibition or 
the, the, which, which you, to which you have contributed, how does that make that more likely with the children who will attend this exhibition? Yeah, so we bring science to life. Uh, what we are hoping to do is that through the animated films, children, families, meaning parents, grandparents will come together and we're going to bring the exhibition to the heartlands as well so that the communities can learn together. Mm -hmm. What is important is that we will stay vigilant and remind everybody that, well, the fight of pandemic, we have all experienced it. How about preparing forward as well? So one, I think staying vigilant is important just as we stay up to date with our COVID vaccine, like with the every strain circulating. But also to say that, well, that's where collaborative R&D, research and development come together to come up with solutions then mm -hmm. and allow the resilience of the country to step up. So we want to inspire the next generation of scientists, researchers, and hopefully they will come and join the STEM career just like both of us. Associate Professor Lim, uh, clearly Moderna's collaboration has been important to this. You, you mentioned earlier that this exhibition, the planning of it was well before yes. uh, the sort of yes. when Dorscon Orange went down to Dorscon yes. Yellow, right? So it's been quite some time in the making. And you've also had several other partners as well that you've worked with for this. Why is it so important to have that context from other partners outside of Science Centre? Yes, that's a good, good question because it's a very complex situation, right? And you cannot solve, it. you cannot come with one single solution. Uh, so the partners involve people who develop trace together. So those are those uh, technology that is really important for mitigating this uh, infection spread. And also we look at um, scientists who develop diagnostic kits because you need to diagnose whether indeed it was a COVID inf infection. Uh, other than that, we are also looking at uh, social behavioural kind. Uh, so we also included uh, data scientists to do mathematical modelling. So it's to show our public and audience that this pandemic has been so complex that we need people to come together to solve it. And we want to use this exhibition to also be a platform to remind us and to learn from that. So that when the next pandemic hit us, we have some solid ground, evidence-based, scientifically sound kind of a, a platform to build upon. So the solutions that is created now could be further evolved and modified to mitigate future challenges. And that is the purpose of educating and also celebrating the power of STEM. And the power of collaboration. Thank you yes. so much, Associate Professor Thank Lim. Uh, Associate Professor Lim Titmeng there from Science Centre Board, as well as Evelyn Pang from Moderna Biotech Singapore.